Good morning everybody, my name is Nick Ferrand and these are my one take property tours. Uh, I hope you're doing all okay. Okay, here we go. What have we got for you today? We've got this incredible mill house. Yes, mill house. No, it's not at the top of a hill. It's uh, below because it's a mill house and I've just come through the uh, electric gates so you can see and I just want to show you that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wait till you see the garden. It's just fantastic. Right, now, straight off the bat, we are gonna talk about price. Um, I think it's incredibly important. I mention it throughout uh, all my videos now, but uh, the price of this property is 795,000 euros. 795,000 euros. Now, for those people who have watched videos, watched some of my videos, you will know um, that uh, I've been in Italy now for quite a long time. And I will tell you, uh, I had a construction company for about five years doing restorations and I cannot build, I wouldn't be able to build this house for its asking price. I mean, isn't that just divine? That is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the garden. Look at the garden. You know, I've shot other uh, mill houses. There is another one which is on our uh, website uh, and YouTube channel. And I will tell you that as a mill house, uh, this has a really lovely open aspect. And, uh, and here it is. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna pan around slowly um, so you get an idea of the view. That is west. So the sun is gonna set just there. Now also in the video, I mentioned the fact of um, green grass and uh, whether in the months of July and August it is a right to uh, put water on your grass to make it green and being a mill house they have an absolute abundance of water so well I mean if you're willing to pay for the electricity water is free I mean why wouldn't you why wouldn't you isn't that just lovely? Look at the hedgerows and everything else, which is here as well. I oh, just absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Divine, right, fine. Going to do the garden first, I think today. Uh, and then we're going to go and have a look inside. The owners um, have moved to America and they have taken all their furniture with them. And so therefore, um, the house is empty, as you would uh, expect it to be when you bought it, unless you're buying all the furniture. Now, the swimming pool. It looks like they're replacing the water because it doesn't have any water in it. Um, and that pool is 12 meters by four meters. So I expect that's probably gonna be filled up uh, today or tomorrow. And that's got some nice steps going over. I'm just gonna show you that so you can see here. All right, there you go. Needs a bit of water. Oh, that's a poor butterfly. I might come and try to rescue that in a minute. Um, yeah. Oh, where's my thing over there? No, I'm gonna, just bear with me, if you can. See what I can do there. Oh, I can't do that. Right, fine, okay, I'm gonna come back. See if I can rescue that chap later. Now, being a mill house, there would have been uh, a stream which would have uh, gone through underground, the under the house, and uh, you would have then had your stone, and that would have then created your mill and you would have then been able to and grind your your 
flower and I'm just going to show you that because I thought that would be quite interesting for you to see. Look, if I come down there, I don't know whether you can see, but that would have been the chute. Like the water would have come rushing into there, gathered speed. Uh, and they've got a couple of the old stones which they've kept and uh, we're going to see those in a minute. Stonework is really lovely as well in the house. Oh, it's a big property, it's about 400 square metres. That's a beautiful cherry. Here you've got plums, you've got apples, you've got nectarines, about an acre of land, completely fenced. You've got your own orto, as they say here in Italy, which is your veggie patch, which is over here, which I'm going to go and look at. Oh, it's just, get out of the sun, just an absolutely beautiful day. And, you know, what can I see? I see absolutely nothing. What can I hear? Cicadas. That's it. Right. Good. Okay. All right, I'm popping down here. I mean, this is potentially a house you can live in all year round. Uh, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. Look, I mean, what you've got is you've just got countryside. Countryside and just on the hills over here, you know, dotted houses and, you know, this is a space where you've got to put your, all your wood in for your wood burning stoves. Just kind of walk down here slowly because, right, what's that? That's walnut. I love walnuts. Right, now, here we go. Look at this as an entrance. Yep. So, there are your stones. There would have been two of them. There's one here. And uh, there's the other one just there. And if I pull back up here. Oh, what a beautiful entrance this is. All right, and you've just got your, hang on, let's just go up there and sit down now. Yep. Okay, you've got your bell. Let's give that a little ring. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Right, I'm in. And the first thing I want to say to you is basically, um, I've turned all the lights on. Uh, and it is lovely and cool and fresh inside and outside is about uh, 35 degrees. But uh, what I want to show you is this. Now, isn't that a whopper of a kitchen? I mean, that is party central. That's just absolutely fantastic. I love that. You've got a big family, this is the house for you. You want to invite friends over, this is the house for you. You like entertaining, this is the house for you because this is where you've got to be. And all the best parties, yes, you are absolutely right, happen in kitchens. Look, right, come over here. You've got these doors which lead out and the camera will adjust. I haven't opened those, but just over there, just outside, you've got this beautiful seating area and where we were before, where I showed you in the garden, that is west and up here, here, which you can see along there, that's just gorgeous wisteria. Yeah, charming. Look at that as a kitchen. Right, what's the other most important things that kitchens need? Well, they need larders. And there is a super duper larder. I didn't open that window, but that's okay. You know, nice and cool. Put all your food in. Absolutely excellent. Now, what haven't I showed you in this room, which I think is going to be important? Oh, here. All right, let's just get over here. 
And uh, I'm just going to pull through. The, no, no, that one's okay. Just going to go over there. Now, can you see that? That's a really nice seating area, and that is facing north. So, if you want to get out of uh, of the midday sun and just relax and read a book or have a snooze in the afternoon, that would be the way to do it. And also, somebody asked me to push the camera out of the windows, and the camera will adjust. And look at that garden. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, oh, it's just a fairly special place. Right, okay. Wait to see the rest of it. All right, come on, let's crack on. What we've got over here. All right, let's open these up here. What's that there? All right, okay, so this is the conservatory. I'm just gonna push out here. And, uh, yeah, this is where you'll keep you know, in the winter months, you'll keep your lemons and, you know, I'm going to come across here. And uh, it's quite hot in here, actually. And no one's been living here, so I've opened the door. But I can see a pellet stove for the winter, which is a really good idea. Um, I can see table and chairs and obviously the storage of your barbecue and uh, your outside uh, cushions and chairs. And then I can see a sink, which is over here. And then I've got a dishwasher, uh, sorry, um, a washing machine and a tumble dryer and where you can see these wooden pallets which are here. This is where you stack your wood in the winter so you come out and pick that up. Right, that's all very good. Um, yeah, it's really lovely and cool in here, that's for sure. Right, you've got this, and I came in when I rang the bell, you've got this really Nice big room, and I think they used to use that as a TV room, but it make a really great kind of entrance hall. And just over here, if I pull over, you can see a fireplace, uh, which is open on both sides, which I really like. Now, this house has underfloor heating, and the owners used to live here full time, which is uh, fantastic. And uh, if you come along into this area, you come down, there's got a couple of steps. You've got this chap here. Right. Now that is a pellet underfloor heating system. And you can regulate the uh, system to just do different levels. And so you could, uh, when they were here, they just used to live on the ground floor area. And that was it. Now, this used to be the office. And uh, you've got internet here. Uh, I mean, we really used to have very good internet, but now we've got great internet. And uh, yeah, you just, uh, look, you know, here's your desk. And again, I'm just gonna pull around, camera will adjust, and there it does. And that's your view. I mean, what more do you want? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? What a lovely view. I mean, if you wanted to come here full time, you know, you could have a dog outside, the children playing. Up here, they used to have a library. Look, I'm just gonna pull up so you can see. It's got a skylight window on there. I'm gonna come down again here. There you've got a wood burning stove for the winter. So you can supplement your underfloor heating with your wood burning stove. So, Moving on, ground floor area, it's a little bit orange, but not to worry. All right, we're going to walk in here, and here you've got a ground floor cloakroom, and here's the under the stairs, and they are, look, if I show you that, you see that? They are pellets, and they come in those bags, All right, and it looks like rabbit food, and it's reconstituted wood. Um, from sawmills and basically uh, it's really economical. Yep, every home should have one. And then in here, now this is listed as a studio. Um, it's not a cantina, it's not a storage space, it's a studio, but they used to use this and have their bed in here. And the first thing I will notice uh, and tell you for all my closet fans <laughs> is basically it has closets um, quite a lot of them and then to the left of me uh, no jokers but 
more closets, more like a walk-in wardrobe, not just a closet, which is also fantastic. And then if I come in here, really nice big double room, and then you've got a fireplace there. So you know how cozy is that on your winter months where you're lying in bed with your fire going? And then up here you've got one, two, three steps, and then. You come in and there's a separate toilet, which is there. I'm just going to show you, I don't need to show you too much of that, but and if I come around and I pull back here, you've got this really lovely big shower room and shower and bath. Uh, lovely light coming through. And then I slowly pull around here. There are the front gates, that's where I initially started. You see that? Started this tour, and then you've got a sink which is just here. So, a really lovely uh, bedroom stroke, study stroke, um, ensuite, walk in cupboard, and closet. Ah, yeah. Feels really spacious, you know. Uh, the ceiling height is not absolutely ginormous, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it does feel really spacious, the house. Uh, lovely flooring, uh, here we go, I'm just going to show you that. They are 30 by 30, terracotta tiles. Yeah. Right. All right, let's, let's crack on and get up, get up these stairs here. Here we go, where are we going? Okay, now you would think that's a cupboard. Uh, it is a cupboard, but it's not a closet because inside here you've got the hot water boiler, uh, and then there's one identical on the way up, and that has all the plumbing kit in it as well. So, in we go to uh, suite number one. Look at that lovely big room. Lovely big bathroom. No bidet. Super big shower. Nice that it's got windows. And again, you've got this beautiful view overlooking the building and that just gorgeous willow tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. All right, now if we come back out here and I go around, I'm trying to go slowly. Um, again, today I'm shooting uh, on uh, 25 frames a second because uh, depending on the house, sometimes get really bad flickering lights. So. I apologise if I'm moving too fast for some people. Hold your horses, closets. Okay. It's, it, it's simple, you know, in its style. You've got, you know, really nice flooring throughout, all done the same. Downstairs you've got the 30 or 30s. These are 15 by 30s. Yeah, the woodwork, you know, everything about it is just really simple and nice. Uh, and you can see this is basically, you know, a full-scale restoration project. Now, the owners used to use this room, uh, which is not ginormous, but it's uh, designed as a bedroom uh, with an ensuite bathroom, as a gym. And I think that, that works quite well as a gym. Uh, and then if I just come over here, because uh, somebody says, Show outside the windows, and yes, I am going to show you outside the window. You're overlooking the roof line. Then you've got this wonderful, wonderful west-facing view overlooking the mountains. I just think that's just great. And then here, there is another really big shower, and that here overlooks your entrance 
and your private fenced garden. Yep. Right, so we've got the study which are using this bedroom one, and uh, then we're just on the first floor, which is based in uh, two bedrooms. Uh, one uh, has, you know, it's really huge with a suite, and the other one, which was used as a gym. And now we are going to be walking up to level number two. Uh, a little dark in here. And uh, it's because, you know, everyone is using low energy bulbs, and so, rightly so, you should be using low energy bulbs. Yeah, and then this room, which is on the second floor, uh, is virtually identical to the one on the first floor. You've come in, you've got this lovely big lobby area, or, I don't know, a sitting room, or, you know, a study, or fantastic room for, you know, kids. And, and then you come in again, and there is identically, uh, identical bathroom upstairs. And uh, with windows and a uh, really nice shower. Yeah. Great big sink. Good afternoon. And uh, then here, you've got a lovely sized double bedroom and two windows. One overlooking a super duper walnut tree and the other overlooking your garden uh, which is there it's blissfully quiet absolutely blissfully quiet cupboards yeah you want to see inside, don't you? I know you do. <laughs> and, uh, look. Okay. There you go. Right, on the other side. Oh, I can't open it. Can I open it? Yes, I can open it. Voila. Yeah, excellent. Right, this is the one here which I said to you has all the bits and pieces in. And look, that's got all the piping and tubing and everything else for the underground, uh, underground, underfloor heating. Um, and I can see it's got the Wi-Fi connections which are brought up into this room and you come into the last bedroom and then what have you got? Cupboards. Let's all set it together. Now this is quite interesting if you've got friends and family who are coming and they've got maybe little kids or, you know, because you've got, this is the staircase coming up. So the return of the stairs coming down. But um, you could quite easily have you know, a, a child sleeping with you uh, if you're coming on holiday. You make a really lovely uh, rental house as well. And uh, this is a jolly big room as well. And this also has uh, a bathroom room suite. So, look, really big shower room again. And uh, let's have a look inside. Yeah, let's have a look there. Right. Um, probably pulled that around too quickly, but sorry about that. Um, no B days, but what I can see just there are the outlets. You see that? You see that down there? Oh. The outlet for a B day, so they can be installed quite quickly. And I didn't see in the other rooms whether they had them, but I'm sure they do. Now, I just want to pull and show you this window and come out and give you a view out of there as well. Yep. Lovely. And you can hear a pin drop. Really fantastic. Right, let's just get downstairs. Um, you know, a number of you have said to me that, you know, that, that, that property looks overpriced. You know, and what you have to remember is that basically the, the prices which I'm quoting are asking prices. It doesn't mean the purchase price. You know, I expect one would make an offer. Um, I certainly would make an offer on a house. 
And it's a question of negotiation, isn't it? But, you know, if you use just this simple calculation that, you know, farmers, and this is basically universal, and I'm going to go off and shoot now a ruin, um, and I will tell you all about pricing when I go and shoot that view, view, uh, ruin. So, uh, you know, make sure you watch that video. You know, you're buying these properties at a thousand uh, euros uh, a square meter, and it might be a pile of stones on the floor. Now, depending who you talk to, depending who you talk to, you know, and depending on the quality of your refurbishment, you might spend 1,500 euros a square metre, 1,800 euros a square metre, 2,000 euros a square metre. I mean, if you want bells and whistles, you might spend 3,000 euros a square metre. I mean, if you want cut travertine flooring shipped from Puglia, you know, that's a jolly expensive piece of, uh, piece of stone and you're gonna be paying big money for that. Isn't that just lovely? I just think that's just lovely. I mean, this is just a lovely house. What haven't I shown you? Ah, right, fine. All right, here we go. Last bit of a rummage. I'm going to come out here and uh, I'm going to get in there. Is there a light in there? Yeah, I think there is. There we go. Right. Uh, does it work? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so um, I expect if you wanted to buy this house, it will come with that. So that's hours of fun sitting on and uh, cutting your uh, lawn, uh, which is irrigated and it has on this side here, uh, it has its uh, own uh, automatic irrigation system. As I said to you, there's masses of water in this property. I can see the blue thing there, which is a storage tank coming from the well. And that, that looks to me like it's a 1500 uh, litre. No, it's a thousand litre water tank. So that's all very good. Um, this one over here is the expansion tank, and that gives you pressure. And then there's a second one there. And this chap here, which is in blue, uh, with the regulator on top, and that is basically your water purifier. So that's your kit room and storage and all your other bits and pieces that you need. Just, just get out of here. Uh, and then I'm going to go around to the front of the building. It's a lovely restoration, honestly. I mean, 795,000. It's, uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be very happy living here. I don't need to have, you know, a super duper far reaching view. What I, what I really want is comfort and space, you know, and uh, somewhere for everybody to, you know, find their peace and, and quiet and get out. I think I'm going to go over there and just finish off that. The garden is just spectacular. It really is just beautiful. Right, my name is Nick Ferrand and these are my uh, Italian property one take property tours. And I just want to thank you so much for getting this far with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by pushing the button, push, push, push below and ring those bells and you'll get notifications on the next property tour. Listen. Nothing. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. Right, fine. Uh, further information can be found in the description below. If you'd like to ask a question, just send us a comment. I reply to all sensible comments. Um, and, uh, or just email us at uh, info at abodeitaly.com. And I will see you on the next rummage and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye bye.